What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more, aha. Uh -huh. And we're going back to the 2017 MTV Unplugged Summer Solstice release once more. And we're up to the tune Living a Boy's Adventure Tale, a track from their debut album, Hunting High and Low. I'm quite fond of the tune. I think a lot of AHA uh -huh fans are as well. I noticed that of all the AHA uh -huh reactions I've done, that one has the most views, so um, perhaps an indication that a lot of AHA uh -huh fans are quite fond of it. Either way, I think it's indicative of their early synth-pop sound. It also features Morton singing like most humans simply cannot do. Admittedly, knowing how they've reconfigured some tunes for a lower register delivery, I imagine this will be one of them. Either way, I'm curious, as with all the tunes in this performance, how they're going to represent or um, express the sounds of the original in an acoustic and differently instrumented, which I don't think is actually a word, or at least a verb, uh, but yeah, I want to see how it's going to sound in this different acoustic configuration. So let's find out. This is Aha, uh -huh, the tune is Living a Boy's Adventure Tale, and we hear it here as part of the 2017 MTV Unplugged performance. <laughs>
was a very different experience but I absolutely loved it and I think Morton proved that even if there were some lines where it felt like it was configured lower he can still get up there it's incredible um, like very heavenly and angelic by the end of the um, song his vocals I mean uh, and yeah there are moments where I really enjoyed it was like the piano and I think maybe the dulcimer were like doubling each other at least part of the phrase so there was like this combined quality to this little dancing rhythm um and yeah ultimately i like the way that they configured it um in this acoustic rendering it certainly changed the the tempo or like not the tempo but the the energy of the tune it made it more of a smooth and mellow tune and less of a again old school you know percussive um synth pop type track um but yeah i really really enjoyed that like i said um it's a tune i've come to appreciate a lot and you know classify as like part of their earliest sound so um to hear them play it this many years later in that way was still hints of you know what made the original tune special i think it's fantastic so shout out to all the aha family i do appreciate you i know the aha reactions haven't been as frequent as they used to be but um, they will keep coming, I promise you, we have lots more to go, and, you know, people like Sophia are lining things up, I absolutely love it, because, um, you know, this journey has been one of the, like, most numerous, just in terms of, like, the number of videos, um, and it's nice that there are so many people who were here from the beginning, like, still here, so, um, I really do appreciate you all, so, let me know what you think of this one, we're getting close to the end of the second disc, I think there's, like, a few more tracks, um, and as I said, eventually, you know, once we finish this, I'll get some opinions and feedback about what to do next. I originally was thinking that I wanted to go through a lot more of the hunting high and low bonus tunes, which, you know, maybe hearing this makes me, you know, um, reinforces that feeling. But either way, we'll see what people think. Uh, and yeah, a few more to go here. So do let me know what you think on this one. I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>